We're going to be manual muscle testing the adductor pollicis. I'm just going to go through the action with my partner just to make sure she understands. We're going to take her thumb and bring it in towards the second and third metacarpal, like so. So that would be adduction of the thumb at the carpal metacarpal joint. Good. So that is the active component. Now for the break test, um, what I'm going to be doing is grabbing onto that proximal phalanx here while she holds her thumb towards her fingers, and I'm going to try to pull it away. Five four, three, two, and one. Relax, we'll see that lengthen, good. And now for the concentric, she's gonna pull it towards her second and third again, against resistance, excellent. So that would be the concentric component. If you previously had your fingers in between and she squeezed, this is okay, but it's more relying on her strength of squeezing versus your ability to gauge the strength of pulling it away. Plus it wouldn't work for the concentric because she needs to be able to bring her thumb all the way towards those metacarpals. The last part for adductor pollicis is that we're going to be trying to lengthen it. So this is a little bit tricky because depending on the heads, it is not as simple as lifting the metacarpal straight up. This would be really, really good to lengthening this transverse portion of it here, but it wouldn't exactly get the length for that oblique head. So we use a combination of abduction and extension to fully lengthen it up. You can quite easily see some of the white that's showing up through the palm of her hand. So again, we'll take that back and show you one more time. It's a combination of abduction and extension to lengthen out adductor pollicis.